Hello, everyone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yeah, your weekend edition. So this is Friday, January 31st through Sunday, February 2nd, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading dated for the weekend, um, does not mean it has to resonate at that time, whenever it resonates or whenever you're guided to watch it and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you, yeah? Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this is not going to, not necessarily gonna resonate for everybody and also it's not, probably not the whole thing isn't gonna resonate with you, okay? Um, just a quick note, so I had a live session on Instagram yesterday that went really well. It was a very good session. It was very cathartic. Um, it was a twin flame story time in which I, sp I shared a little bit of my experience over, you know, this last week and, um, and a, a vision that I had in a meditation yesterday. And so it was a great session and I have since learned how to take the live sessions and sh put them elsewhere. So I have done that um, and it, I'm going to release that. I'm going to publish it today, later on today um, for you guys to, if you're interested, if you're on this twin flame journey and you know, you're there, there's, there's been some unrest in the collective lately and one of the main reasons why i did that live session was because in morning coffee yesterday i ex had i had explained a little bit of you know what i had been experiencing and a lot of you said that you know there were some similar you were having similar situations similar circumstances blah 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 whatnot whatever a number of people said that so i was like okay obviously this is something that needs to be talked about um and so um yeah i did that so that's going to be released later on today. If you want to check it out, I highly recommend you do so. It's a it's a it's a long video, but it's it's a good session. Um, and there's a I did pull a little bit of energy for the collective for the divine masculine and the divine feminine respectively. And that actually it was it was and I always get surprised, even though I shouldn't be at this point because I know how this works. I've been doing this for two years now, so it's kind of like Eric, you really shouldn't be surprised when the messages that come out with the cards are directly related to you know what you've been discussing. But nonetheless, that happened um, at the very end of the session. I did pull cards, and the messages were perfect. We're right on point. We're literally for both the masculine and the feminine. We're literally what I was talking about in the session. So. If you're interested, I highly recommend that you check it out. I do plan on doing more live sessions and on Instagram, but then also I do plan on um, taking those live sessions and putting them here because a number of people had asked me in the past if I was going to be able to do that because we've had some like pregame shows before happy hour on Instagram that were some really awesome readings and they were just up for 20, 24 hours and that was it. Um, and so I feel like that was kind of wasteful, not wasteful per se, but like, I don't know, we could, it could, it could have gotten more mileage, <laughs> you know what I mean? And more people could have seen it, more people could have benefited from the reading. So I'm going to be doing that moving forward in the future now that I know how to, yes. <laughs> okay. Awesome. So let's get into this here. So what do we have? We have your pre-shuffle energies and it starts with the star. It's the, the star is the one that came out and I'm getting a little bit of a temperance energy with this. Um, now, the only reason I'm getting that is because there's this sense of peace and serenity in the star. At least what I, that's the feeling that I'm getting from it right now. And the star is about having faith, but it's also about wish fulfillment. Um, and what I, and basically it's like, as you're on your path, as you're on your road, towards whatever it is your wish fulfillment is, there is a sense of needing to just have patience with yourself and the circumstances. Because as long as you stay in your alignment, as long as you stay following that star, whatever that is for you, whether that be your intuition, whether that be the guidance of your angels, your guides, the universe, whatnot, whatever you describe it as, as long as you stay in that alignment and as long as you keep uh, 
following whatever that guidance is, you'll get to your destination. Wishes and dreams are, in fact, coming true. In your overall energy, you have the Page of Swords and you have the Page of Cups. So it's as if someone, it, this could be that you are working on exploring your emotions. The page, is, the page of Swords is a, like the seeker, the sentry, is the scout, the spy even. The Page of Cups is, it could be an offer of love, um, sending a message of love, sh sharing love with yourself or with others. Um, the, the Page of Cups could also be some sort of reconciliation, maybe. Um, either way, both both pages could be messengers here. Uh, I just get the sense that there's some sort of internal focus, however slight or minor right now. Um, and maybe you don't even see it that way. Maybe you don't even see it as, oh, you're going within and you're exploring your emotions. But there, I, I just feel like there's some sort of building. There's some sort of building maturity potentially for someone here, or for you, whomever this is for. Um, yeah, I'm hearing take it slow. You don't need to rush anything. Um, listen to your inner guidance. I feel like some of you are maybe even learning how to listen to your inner guidance, learning how to listen to your intuition, learning about your emotions, learning about what it or what it is you truly feel, learning about ways or how you can ex of how you can express the way you truly feel potentially. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's what I have there so far. Just keep going because you're on the right path is what I'm hearing here. Okay. Okay. So let's reset and then we'll get into the rest of the message for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. There's definitely an energy of someone really exploring their emotions. Which is nice always necessary and always healthy to do so so don't you be afraid or ashamed one more okay all right cool so let's get into the rest of the reading here Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, sorry, guys. <laughs> Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Janu uh, Friday, January 31st through Sunday, February 2nd, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. Woo! Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so we're going to give this three shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got. A one. Say it with me, guys. A two. <laughs> uh, a two. A three. A three. <laughs> I crack myself up, you guys. I'm having too much fun. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Last, shuffle. <laughs> Last shuffle. Okay. <laughs> mm. Here we go. Let's see what we've got for your weekend here. For the collective. Now, I know many of you have been following along for quite some time now, and so you'll remember when I tell you that for a long, t for for a while, the color I was seeing for the collective was yellow. Well, now it's mainly purple, but there's still some yellow in there. So it's as if, you know, we went through a whole phase. Uh, I want to say through December, I guess it was maybe even for longer than that, where um, we were working on our willpower. We were re we were we were getting in touch with our willpower. We were getting in touch with our true and whatnot one more shuffle they say okay um and it did for a while it did feel like that was you know oh i just heard emotional clearing okay that's allowing that was allowing us to really get in touch with 
our true will and what it is we really want to do. And now it seems that there's some direction coming from source, God, creator, higher centers, higher realms, higher consciousness, whatnot, whatever, that's helping to further direct our will, further shape us into a more of a better version of ourselves, you know, than we were in the past, expansion, growth, ascension, whatever you want to call it, that kind of stuff. So that's pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to give this one more go for our weekend edition. For the collective. Okay, we're going to stop there. <laughs> we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Hermit in the overall energy. So, okay, yeah, there's definitely an energy of some soul searching, but it's probably some deep soul searching. We also have Virgo here. Hi, Virgo. <laughs> um, and then we have the Two of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands, and we have the Nine of Swords. Man, oh man, oh man alive. There is some communication or some sort of movement that is actively being resisted. Now, here's the thing, though. It's... I. <sighs> I don't really get that this whatever is being resisted here is being resisted through denial. I I get what I'm picking up here is that there is some somewhat of an emotional uproar potentially. Like it, an emotional like just like storm, stormy, stormy weather. Whatever it is that someone here or you are facing, I mean, it's kicking up some shit for you with this two of swords energy. And it may be that you're, you may be having trouble, you may be having trouble keeping it together. Um, you may be really unable to move at this moment. You just, you may feel paralyzed by your emotions. You may feel paralyzed by what it is you're, you, it's coming up for you. Um, with the seven of pentacles energy as your overall, I kind of get the sense that, you know, this is, this might be a situation in which you're, you've made your bed and now you're dealing with laying in it. And it could, it could be kind of what I'm feeling here is that potentially for some, for some of you or for someone out here, your world is shifting, your mind is changing, you're potentially wanting to move in a due direction or communicate about something, whatnot, whatever here with the Eight of Wands, or maybe you're being inspired to do so. Um, and yet there are certain elements in your life that, that are current standing, currently standing, like there are current fruits of your labor that could be really getting in the way of that. Um, and with the Hermit energy here, it's like you're really needing to I want to say redefine yourself, but also that that's, I guess that's sure, but it's deeper than that. It's really about going down and getting down to the root of the situation and understanding why you've, your why you have the certain fruits that you have. I also feel like there's pressure building here for someone and that, and, and, and if it's not the, the latter of what we were just discussing, then it could be the fact that there's a certain amount of divine pressure that's being put on someone right now to make a move, make a change, to communicate even. And I'm getting that from this side of the Eight of Wands. And in this deck, this is the vice versa deck. In this deck, we have um, two sides to the cards. On this side, it has this Pegasus here and this lightning bolt. And what they describe it as in the book is divine pressure. Basically, it's like, well, look, you know, you're being given some sort of guidance. You're being asked to move in a certain direction. You are being influenced to do, to take a certain action. And you might want to get, get on it or the gods are going to do it for you or the universe is going to do it for you. So with that said, this side of the eight of, eight of Wands can potentially either symbolize the coming of a tower moment or... It could kind of represent a tower moment. This could be like a minor arcana version of a tower moment. So I do feel like there's some sort of divine pressure here on somebody right now. And it's causing anxiety. Nine of Swords. It may be a struggle to keep the balance right now. And that may be also what's adding to some of the anxiety because it's like, not only am I, am I, am I getting triggered by something, but I'm also being pushed 
or forced, I just heard, forced to say something, which is only making the trigger worse. <laughs> it's like a vicious cycle. But I'm, I'm here to tell you guys, it's only going to get worse the more you avoid it. At some point, and this is it's, it's crazy because I just, this was the message for in yesterday's reading for the masculine. At some point, you're just going to have to do it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, buddy. <laughs> you know, and I'm not saying that this is an, another message for the masculine, but I, I I was saying it. I was just I was literally just saying what what I said to the masculine yesterday. At, at some point, you're gonna have to move. And kind of what I'm feeling here is like the more you procrastinate, or the more you try and you know not do or whatever, or wh the more you push this aside, the worse it's going to kick up the dust and the worse the storms are going to get. It's literally a situation where once you make the move or once you take the action, shoot the shot, whatnot, whatever, that's when the storm would subside. It's only because of this resistance and fear that it's getting so damn stormy for whomever this is. This is what it feels like, all right? Um, now, that doesn't mean that you're not allowed your time to go within and figure things out and change your approach, maybe from an internal point of view, but even then, you have to, you have to do that work. So even if it will say, okay, but I can't, I can't make this move or I can't send this message or I can't take this action unless I fix and heal something within, then okay, so do that. An action needs to be taken, and what it feels like here is... Someone is resisting the action that needs to be taken in order to move in the direction they're either guided towards, and that's kicking up this dust, and it's and then and there's more and more divine pressure being put on you, and it's just it's a vicious cycle that you're only perpetuating by stalling and procrastinating. That's what I'm getting here. I'm just gonna call a spade a spade, y'all. <laughs> okay, I'm here to help. I promise. All right, cool. So with that said, let's let's get some clarification. Then let's look a little, a little bit deeper here. I want to look at the Eight of Wands specifically first, and then we'll see where we want to go from there. All right, here we go. So, divine pressure. Ooh, e, that didn't work so well. Okay, let's try this again. All right, one more shuffle here. So what is this Eight of Wands? Tell me about the Eight of Wands, please. Tell me about this eight. This eight of wands. Ooh, justice. Well, okay, that could be why the chariot. Uh, wow. All right, so this could be why you might be feeling this divine pressure, or it could be why you are pretty hesitant to do so. To, to follow through with whatever this eight of wands is because ultimately this is bringing justice to your situation um, it's bringing greater balance to your situation it's in essence it's the right thing to do whatever that would be for you and that and the right thing isn't always the easiest thing to do quite often it's one of the hardest things you'll have to do so i understand the resistance i understand also maybe the hesitance to move forward because there's a sense there, there's a sense of of deep satisfaction and deep fulfillment that I'm getting from the chariot card because this is in direct alignment to something that you truly want and desire in life and there's almost an energy especially with the seven of Pentacles up there being like you've made your bed now you're kind of laying in it in a sense it's almost as if um, you don't want to fuck it up this time or you you don't want to make matters worse or you 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 just want to do better than you did last time you want to you, this is something that's I just get an energy with the chariot that this is something that is very very important to you 
yeah, wow. But then look, overall energy is the six of wands. There's some sort of recognition. There's some sort of recognition that could come from this, potentially. There's a victory here. This is something that maybe you've worked on for a long time or you've wanted for a long time and now it's like finally coming through or you're finally getting the opportunity to do so. This also could be something that's coming up in the future. Now also what I'm getting with the chariot here, the chariot could be the energy of like this strong urgency because or whatever, whatever like uh, urgency, I guess is a word, but there's just there's this sense of lots of movement. I'm having trouble. How do I put this into words here? Importance. Strong. There's a sense of strong importance with this, and it just feels like this is something that's very, very important to you. And that is that. That's coming from that. Also, could be the, coming from the chariot. That could be why you have such an extreme energy here of this lightning bolt. You know what I mean? Because the chariot is a very fast moving, very passionate, very forceful energy. Um, it's it's it comes from a, an energy where you're you're in balance. Okay, you have that balance between masculine and feminine, or light and dark, light and dark, positive and negative. It's like the polarity is coming together in a sense of union, which is uh, especially the emotions, which is then allowing you to really move forward towards what it is you truly want. Um, and this is like your heart's guidance, your heart's desire. This is like the truest form of self-expression or what it is you're, what it is you're really here for. This could even be a card of seen as a card of like being on your mission or whatever, if that resonates for you, whatever that means for you. Okay. So yeah, there may be a sense of urgency. There may be a sense of strong desire. This also could be the fact that this is something that you may have wanted for a very long time. But whatever it is here, whatever you're moving towards, there is definitely a victory involved with this Six of Wands, okay? And either it's a victory for you that you even get to take this step or move in this direction, or it's a victory for you in the outcome, Either or, or it could be both, quite frankly. So, but either way, this is, this is very good. It's bringing justice and balance into your situation here, okay? So now with that said, let's talk about, let's look a little deeper into the mind because you have the two of swords with the nine of swords here. And that eight of wands is such a positive energy. Let's look a little deeper into your mind space here and try and decipher some, some of what these fears are, some of what this apprehension is, some of what this, I guess I could say denial. I guess there's a little bit of denial and maybe denial in the sense that you don't know how to move forward or that you can't move forward somehow. Last shuffle. All right. What's this here for you? Two of swords, nine of swords. Tell me about the two of swords and the nine of swords, please, spirit. Queen of pentacles. Interesting. Oh boy. Now we have the five of swords with the hanged man. Okay. Well, this queen of pentacles feels like another, a, a, another person. I don't know if this is really the person that I've been channeling for here in this situation. What I'm getting is the Queen of Pent the Queen of Pentacles is an individual that it, that really knows their worth. That's sitting real pretty, um, very stable, very secure, really well, doing well off, well, well doing well on their own. Um, isn't necessarily checking for anybody other than themselves, even though they they may have a love interest. Um, I just feel like this is someone that's really just set in a receptive mode and is really not willing to take anything less than what they are worthy of. This could be you, but I do also kind of feel like this is another person. This is someone else. Then we have temperance and we have the five of swords. So what I feel like is happening. Oh, and then with the overall energy of the hanged man at the, at the bottom of the deck. So what I feel like is happening here is that there's, um, 
there's some sort of self-defeating energy or there could have been with this five of swords there could have been a really toxic energy from the past um and someone is changing their perspective here someone is you know go coming into greater balance um especially with temperance there's patience involved i just get that um Oh, well, yeah, there we go. Then that's taking us back to, you know, the overall energy in the beginning with the Seven of Pentacles. And then the, the Hermit is on the other side of the deck here. Um, yeah, someone has kind of made their bed and now they're laying in it. They're forced to lay in it. And there's a change in perspective that's happening here in terms of another person. I want to get a little more on this Five of Swords here. There's greater balance coming into the situation, harmony and union. This is what I'm hearing. Also, there's needing to have patience with yourself in terms of the growth that's coming through with this. But what is this? Let's, tell me a little bit more about this Five of Swords, please, Spirit. Three of Pentacles. And what I'm getting with the Three of Pentacles is not only self-mastery, but teamwork. Teamwork. And here's the, because here's also, here's the thing about, oh, look, and then there's Six of Wands is back. Okay, okay, all right, okay. So here's the thing. This Queen of Pentacles energy, this individual is, is definitely a team player. She's like the wife archetype. She's the mother archetype. She's the nurturer. She's grounded. She's the home, the, the home um homemaker even you could call it she's the one that you know bears the children and takes care of the home takes care of the kids and and all that stuff she's the mom she's the wife she's also a boss okay um you know she's very self-sufficient energy she, she's very loving very caring very compassionate but she is one to give you some serious tough love like she might be she might be very loving and very motherly and very passionate compassionate and all that but she will not take any shit from anybody okay and she's not the type of individual to enable you in um toxic traits toxic traits bad habits um she's the type of individual that constantly encourages you and support it encourages you to to grow and learn and be better and do better and and achieve whatever it is you wish to achieve i mean she could she could get negatively aspected and just be a achievement driven and just be a real hard ass there but ultimately if she's really balanced she's the type of individual that encourages you to go after what it, your goals and go after your dreams and you know however long it takes you is however long it takes you but she's willing and ready and able to be there for you to be as a support system for you throughout but that's as long as you're following through um that's as long as you are keeping up your end of the bargain whatever that may be so there is an energy of team a uh, team player aspect okay with the three of pentacles and the queen of pentacles but you see this came out on the five of swords so in the past i I, and I guess what i'm getting from this five of swords here is someone is looking is thinking back on the past thing like shit like why did i do that you know like well, fuck now because because <laughs> I, I guess someone is recognizing that whomever this queen of pentacles is actually is on their side it's probably more on their side than anyone else or maybe a lot of the other people around them and that was sabotaged somehow and so now someone is kind of looking back on it and saying well how do i get back on this queen's good side like how do i make up for this because here's the thing about the queen of pentacles she will be your ride or die for life okay and as long as as long as it serves the greatest good or the highest good of everyone involved including herself she will maintain her presence in her in your life but as soon as she recognizes that you are taking advantage of her abusing her lying to her manipulating her any of that shit she is out the door and she will turn her back on you and good luck getting her to turn back around and that's the issue here and i don't feel like in this situation if you really have truly turned your back on someone i don't really feel like you're unwilling 
to turn back around and give it a new try and try it again. But they're going to have to play. You're, they're going to have to make a damn good case for it. And I think, and if it's not like it, if it's not that of extreme of a situation, then they're kind. Then this person, whomever is in this anxiety, this this fear, this like holy shit, what do I do about this? You might be expecting this Queen of Pentacles to maybe read you the Riot Act in some way, and. <laughs> uh. but all of this is in service of greater balance here and to be quite honest you guys i feel like you already have a victory here so you may have reconnected with this person or the potential for you guys to do well in this I mean, it's strong. It's really strong. The Six of Wands has come out again here. It came out in the first time we, we clarified, and now it's come back out. Okay. And um, I, I'm going to look, I want to look into the energies of this Queen of Pentacles for in a second, but I just feel like there is, there is really a strong potential of things going well because there's greater balance that's come into play here. And like I said in the beginning of this pre shuffle, there was a change in perspective. That is causing this situation to heal and grow and change. Okay. And with the six of wands here, you may not necessarily you may be you may you may be caught up in too much of your own fear and anxiety surrounding the situation to recognize that you do in fact have this have this strong potential for a victory, or you already have this victory already, or like the victory is like right up on the horizon. All right. Okay, I want to look in the end. I want to look at the energies of this Queen of Pentacles. So tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, please, Spirit. All right. Okay. <laughs> Three of Cups, Two of Cups, Knight of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. So. <sighs> Yes, look, I'm telling you guys, you are you have a victory here. You definitely have a victory here. You have someone that's still willing to be a team player. The thing about it is, she just needs you to take action and communicate with that knight of swords. But there is definitely an energy of a reconciliation. There's definitely an energy of a union, a celebration of coming back together. Um, and, you know, partnership, whether that be romantic or business. But the thing about it is she's sitting here on her throne as this queen of pentacles knowing exactly what it is that she's worth just waiting for you to just make the offer ace of pentacles she's willing to accept it from you especially well I'll say two things she's willing to ac accept it from you provided either one of these two things or well, shit. <laughs> no, I've lost it. Um, she's willing to accept this offer from you if you have learned your lesson here and if you're willing to do better in the future. If you're willing to be a team player as much as she is, or at least if you're willing to like work your way there. I mean, you don't, you don't, you can start off, you can start out small. There's no rush into some massive major commitment, but like what and whatever that whatever that may be for you, you know, whether it's a business investment or it's a romantic investment or a creative, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You don't have you can start out small. She may even advise that. But now with this Knight of Swords energy here, she may have some things to say. She may be pretty quick with her wit. She may be quick to shoot you down should you come at her with any mess, okay? But also there's, a, there's a, a, I feel like there's a desire on her end, this Queen of Pentacles, whomever this is, for you. There's a desire for strong communication and maybe even for fast movement. And <laughs> with the look on her face, now I keep saying her because I'm speaking about the Queen of Pentacles, but this doesn't have to be a woman. This can be a man. I'm just talking about the energy and whomever, whatever this energy represents for you, whether it's a man or a woman, then just take it as it resonates. But this look on her face is like, it's like she knows. She knows 
She knows exactly what's going on here. Are you gonna, are you gonna focus? You don't wanna focus? What if I do this? Will you focus then? Okay, there we go. Did you, did you see that look on her face? That knowing that like, mm-hmm, I see you over there. I know exactly what you're doing. I know exactly what you're going through. And no, I'm not giving in. You are going to have to talk to me. <laughs> it's that kind of energy. I mean, like, I mean, it doesn't have to be that specifically, but, you know, take it as it resonates for your situation. But she full on knows her worth. She knows exactly, and she knows exactly what's going on. And she's not, she's not willing to hide from it. She's not going to hide from it. But also she's, she's not going to step out of line of what she is responsible for. And because she, that, because, because that, I mean, why would she step out of line in terms of what she's responsible for when she's asking you to take advantage or take up the opportunity to act on what you're responsible for? Make sense? That's cute, though. That is really cute. <laughs> and... Whatever this is a this is, we we are talking about some sort of union here, whether it's romantic or like a business partnership. But either way, it's something that's really victorious, or like it's just a celebrated. It's a celebrated union, whether that be you know in the physical world or just universally or both. Okay, well that's kind of cool. All right. So where do we go from here now? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I think I just want to go to Oracle Guidance. Mm -hmm. Maybe a final... Okay. Let's get a final closing message from Spirit, and then we'll do our Oracle Guidance. Okay. All right, Spirit. So... What else? What uh, what else do you? How, how do you want to close this? What what closing message do you have for us here? In terms of this, two of wands. Make a decision. <laughs> two of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck right now, but what else? Tell us a little bit more about this Two of Wands. Because they're taking me back... With this Two of Wands, they're bringing me back to the energies of, um, you know, needing to take action because, you know, you're not... The, the, more, you, the more you stall, the more you procrastinate, the more the storm is going to get worse. You know what I mean? What else can you say us about this Two of Wands? They are saying with this two of wands, make uh, make the decision, to, especially if you're having dis trouble deciding what which direction to go in. Follow your passion. What makes you happiest? May, and choose that. Move in that direction. The four of wands. For whomever is out here that's really afraid of moving in or is just feeling really super apprehensive, if you don't want to say that you're afraid of it, if you're just, you're really super apprehensive or it's making you nervous or you feel like you're not prepared, you're inadequately adequately prepared, especially if like with the seven of pentacles energy here of having made your bed now needing to lay in it or, or laying in the bed that you've made and trying to figure out how you can remake that bed. You have the foundation and the stability that is necessary to move forward with whatever it is you're 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 trying to move forward with. And the world is at the bottom of the deck here. And with the world being at the bottom of the deck, I get a sense of spirit saying, like, you've, you've learned your lesson. You've completed the cycle. So now let's move forward. You do have what it takes. You are properly prepared. You are adequately prepared. So just move forward with it. You don't have to fear. There's nothing to fear, but fear itself is very much a, a, an energy of this right now, okay? I do get for some of you that this is a career move. Uh, whether it be career or like a new creative project. You have, but regardless for whatever this is, you have um, 
the spiritual foundation to take this on. For others of you that this is uh, a romantic situation, I mean, a, a union is definitely involved. We have the Three of Cups, which is kind of a union card, but that card, that it, when it comes to the Three of Cups, it's more like a, it could be a, a union of like friendships or family or whatnot, whatever. Um, but now with the Four of Wands here, I'm getting, and the Four of Wands is, has been a union card, especially in the Twin Flame journey, because you have those Four Wands that can be seen kind of as like the 1111. Um, so move forward towards your union you're hesitant because of the past and you don't i mean the past is just that the past as especially what what this queen of pentacles says as long as you've learned your lesson and you're willing to do better in the future then it really doesn't matter like let's move forward then i'm on your i'm still on your team i'm still on your side you know you just have to be willing to do better. You just have to be willing to learn and grow and expand. You know what I mean? And not s be stuck in your ways and not sh uh, uh, shirk your responsibilities and not, you know, and, and, and refuse to keep up your end of the bargain potentially. Mm okay, for that, something that just came through. For some of you, you're kind of trying to figure out if you really want to even make that bargain. But a lot of that is coming from fear of whether or not you'll be able to, you're capable whether or not you are capable of following through. But you are. You are more than capable. This is what I'm hearing. Well, that's what the Queen of Pentacles is saying, okay? So let's get your Oracle guidance then. We're going to get it from the Light Worker Oracle today. All right. So our oracle guidance for our weekend edition there it is okay we have card number 32 divine grace the law of efficiency okay well, let's see what this says. Now, this does boil down to a five, so this is a card of change or a, 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 a number of change here. Come on. Come on, you. Do the, do the, do, do the, whatever. It's time. It is time your life became easier. It is time for you to walk the way of divine grace with trust, simplicity, and acceptance. You do not have to try to make things happen. You can gracefully act without attachment and trust that all will be as it's meant to be. Surrender your struggles now as you follow life to serve, oh, I'm sorry, as you allow life to serve you with love and kindness. This is the most efficient use of your energy and will lead to the best results. The law of efficiency encourages us to work smarter rather than always working harder. It is like learning to allow a wave to carry you to shore rather than swimming the entire way with your own efforts alone, or even against the current, which would make the journey even harder. It is like planting a seed at the right time so nature will help it bloom in the spring rather than planting it during the dead of winter when it takes a lot of effort to keep it alive, and even then it may not survive. This is the intelligence of the law of efficiency and divine grace at work. To hitch your wagon to the universe in this way, you need to learn to listen. This means tuning into what feels right or wrong at any given time. Sometimes you will want to push forward, yet your intuitive knowing will guide you to rest. Sometimes you will want to hide from a challenge, and yet you know in your bones it is time to step up and shine with boldness despite the fear you may feel. The universe has a sense of natural flow, cycles and timing that assures us that it supports every dream we dare to dream, and that everyone can come to can come to fruition in due course. It may not look exactly as you expect, but if you set it in motion with desire and intention, karmic law will ensure that it finds expression. For this to happen in the most loving, graceful, and easy way, you must learn to hear, feel, and sense the currents of life and work with them rather than push against them. 
This is about common sense, allowing yourself to be helped, not making things more difficult for yourself than they need to be. Imagine that you have a chance to share a feeling of love in a room full of receptive people. The time is right. They are open to your efforts. They are open and your efforts create the maximum effect for love's success. Or you could expend the same amount of time and energy by arguing with one disinterested person in an attempt to get them to understand and receive your love, even though they actually have no interest in doing so. They just wish to have their own point of view and for you to agree with that. One is working with the law of efficiency and the other is working against the tide of life. It is not bad to choose the harder way sometimes. It can be a great learning experience. But you are being encouraged with this oracle to explore the easier and more graceful way more often, especially at this time in your life, because there is a helping hand, a natural wave of energy in life that is going to be able to support your rising spirit in manifesting something truly beautiful and special in the world. The law of efficiency is also sometimes known as the past path of least resistance. We must find the strength that comes from letting go and trusting that the universe knows what it is doing. It takes spiritual maturity to seed with wisdom greater than your own immediate understanding. Then you are suffering the wave rather than swift uh, swimming against the current. I'm sorry. Then you are surfing, not suffering. Then you are surfing the wave rather than swimming against the current. How efficient to work with life and its cycles rather than believing you must struggle and strain to be heard, loved, rewarded, and inspired. You have the maturity within you. Trust now. Trust that all will come in time. And there you have it, kids. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.